Sikla, and I'm going to be talking to you today about what it means to me to be working in the creative field as a visual artist, as well as a gallery director and educator, and just working in the creative field in lots of different ways as well. Um, a little bit of context about me growing up. So a lot of people look at me and they say, or ask questions, they're like, oh, you must have been like a really creative young person or in high school and real school, you must have been like drawing and painting a lot, which really wasn't the case for me. Um, I knew when I was younger that I always really enjoyed working with my hands and learning um, through the process of, of making and doing things with my hands, uh, but didn't really have the resources when I was younger. So I didn't really get into uh, working create creatively until I was maybe 18 or 19 until I got to college. So I know a lot of times people um, struggle with um, when they come into creativity, but I, like I said, I just reflect back to knowing I was always creative and working with my hands, but the whole art making didn't come till later on. Um, and a little bit too, I got into college and then ended up working in a lot of different fields within art uh, with using uh, materials like pencils, colored pencils, markers, charcoal, and all of that great stuff. Um, but eventually all of these materials that we're used to using transferred into what I um, mainly use as a visual artist, which is screen printing, okay? My lovely friend has the, the camera here. <laughs> screen printing. And I will say too, as a visual artist, um, a lot of times people will think you know, you like to paint or draw and it's kind of more of a hobby, but I think when you're wanting to get, move into the creative field, it's really thinking about how can you use your skill sets within drawing, painting, coming up with new ideas, that whole like, creative aspect, and how do you turn that into a career field? And I think too, a lot of times when I tell people that I am a, a visual artist, that they think just one thing. They're like, oh, you must paint, you must draw, um, but you can do a lot of things with being creative uh, and working hands-on. So even with my uh, screen printing, uh, I guess, process, I use this to uh, create a career in uh, making artwork, making t-shirts, creating designs for different uh, logos, businesses, nonprofits. So again, my art making transfers into a lot of different areas and eventually got me here um, running the gallery space for 10 Project in downtown Mankato. So I just wanted to show you this process here really quick and how it kind of transforms, or how um, the process of my artwork goes. Uh, so silkscreen is, is um, the process, if you are unaware of it, of how an uh, image gets onto a t-shirt. So if you have a t-shirt with like a, an image or a logo or text on it, it's usually silkscreened here. And I'm not gonna go through this a bunch, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea. So this is your silkscreen. You can kind of see there's an image on here. Can you see that, Mallory? That's my, vi my videographer's name. I'm a cyclist. So I have a biking, biking lady on there. And so we have our ink here. And it's almost this, it's kind of like acrylic paint, but it's just a little bit different. So this is a drawing that was then put onto um, the screen here. So it always starts with drawing. And we have our squeegee here. And we're just gonna pull it across. We're going to do one on paper. So again, this could be fabric um, or paper or any flat surface. We'll kind of do it in the corner here. So we're bring our screen down, just pull it one more time. Lift it up. A little too much ink. But then we have our image. So again, this is a process that I've utilized into big scale installations that have um, been in gallery exhibitions. Uh, they, I've been commissioned by different um, department stores to do print, ins like print installations and print things like this. Um, so again, the art making has kind of transferred into this way of sustaining. Um, also too, okay, so visual artists and then also working in the creative field. And this is one thing I'll say, if you're interested in, um, working in creative formats is you're always going to be doing more than one thing. So if you're a visual artist, you you might also be a teacher. You might also work in a gallery. You might also 
be working a whole nother um, side job. And that's kind of the reality of it. But again, it's how do you um, multitask um, all of your creative energy. So really keep that in mind. But again, art making has landed me here at the 410. So this is our um, studio space. You can kind of see back here. So this is our working studio. So this space allows um, myself to work. It allows community gatherings and to um, bring people together to participate in different art forms and experimentation and not just visual work, but um, you know, dance, literary, uh, music, all of that amazing stuff. Okay, um, so running this space has been a lot of work. Uh, I did graduate with an uh, arts degree, but then when I wanted to work more in the nonprofit, like in an art gallery, I needed to gain that business aspect of my brain and I had to go back to school and get um, a nonprofit leadership degree. So again, I knew I wanted to run the gallery. I had to go back and get that education so I could balance my brain with creativity, but also administration as well. So this is our back studio space. Come here, Mallory. Camera's moving with me. Why are you so far away from me? <laughs> so go up here to the gallery. So then, um, like I said, right here, the gallery here is a great opportunity to connect with local artists and with their community members, and again, create a safe and creative space um, for people to come together and be creative, which hopefully then allows them to gain the confidence to go and continue their artistic career. So right now we have a, a painting show up. Can you come up, Pat? Funny. And uh, again, we have artists from all over the state too. So people, um, not just from Mankato display here, but again, we're bringing other artists from different areas of the state in the Midwest into Mankato. So our creative communities here are able to learn from them as well. So again, visual artists, all of that, running the gallery, that's a whole nother form of working in the creative field. But then I'm also uh, an educator. So I always tell a lot of people, if you're a visual artist, is how can you take your talents and teach those talents to other people? That's a form of creativity. Um, so that could be an art teacher of some sort, you know, and um, at a school, you could be a teacher at a nonprofit, you could be a teacher at a community center, or you could just teach privately. Um, so really think about, again, creative field, what can you do with your talents and with your, um, your ideas that are in your head? And how do you move those forward? And does it necessarily mean that um, you have to go to college to be successful? No, uh, but reach out to creative adults, creative mentors, and see how they can help you. And never underestimate um, what your creativity can do and how you can really become a sustaining creative adult. Thank you.